we're back. Oh man, we got this webcam. Like, <laughs> I go through really bad periods of outside uh, getting bright. I need to get some uh, blocking stuff. Hey, Arda. I'm I'm fine. Are are you doing all right? Where's our foraging three book? Did we not have a foraging three book? What's going on, buddy? Man, I should have the full collection of foraging. Okay. Flash games can be good. Forging three. No, we. Oh, maybe I don't have forging three. Okay, I gotta make sure I get forging. I thought I have forging. Okay, we do not have forging three, unfortunately, uh, which is gonna make things interesting. Uh, well, you know, I, I always say suggest study because <laughs> it's always good to have those games that you can put on in the background and just let it go. <clears throat> Always a plus. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to be doing our foraging, but obviously we don't want to forage at night. Um, foraging is going to limit our scope of vision quite a bit. I mean, Bloom's Tower Defense is what I put on, yeah, while I'm doing something else. Because I could just throw it on, and like I said, I can pop through a Balloons Tower defense. It doesn't take me long to get. Especially now, because I, I spent all my money on those. Uh, <laughs> I, I always drop a cash thing right at the start. And then uh, set myself up to be, you know. Yeah, the cash thing. And, and I only have to drop one. So it's... I got... You know what's weird is I got a... I don't know how I got a bunch of monkey money, but I was broke and broke and broke and broke. And then one time I logged on and I just had crap tons. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if I glitched. I don't know what happened, you know what I mean? But I was like, I'm not giving it back. <laughs> I'm not giving it back. <laughs> I was like, I'll keep it. And so I just pick up those every once in a while. We got a bunch. <laughs> Granted, I've played, I have played a lot of Balloons Tower Defense, or maybe who knows what happened. Um, I don't know what level I am, though. I'm only 70s or 80s or something like that. But yeah, I wasn't cheating. That's like I said, I logged on one day and so maybe <laughs> maybe one day we'll do a uh the balloons tower defense uh, for like an hour or something like that. Do a do a playthrough. You see how much cash I, I actually got. It was <laughs> it was quite a lot. And so, yeah, I dropped one of those little, and that's, and I just buy the, the cash drops. And so I, one cash drop, usually I don't even need the cash drop, but when you get up to the higher ones, it just makes it a little bit easier to uh, do it. And I'll play my favorite map. I'll do one with my favorite map. 
which is the uh, it's, an, it's an easy map it's one with all the crisscrosses and stuff like that um, I don't remember what the name of it is but I love that one because you, they, the, the balloons have to pass through like this one area like seven times it's like really? <laughs> I can't lose that one that one we can go okay Okay. Okay. I can take a look at it. I'm tired of sitting around. Gotcha. That was a lot of farm uh, foraging XP. <laughs> okay. We can do something like that. Sorry about that, Arda. But no, I've got it. I've got it uh, pulled up. So we'll definitely take a look at it. Yeah, we'll find one that's that's stream friendly and. Forging at night is not good. Yeah, minus Three advices. Okay, so first of all, crouching's your friend. <laughs> if you want to do vehicles, then grab um, burglar as your profession. Um, yeah, so it's based off professions. So if not, I like the love, so my two, the two 
My two favorite professions are burglar. If I'm gonna do, uh, if I'm gonna be living in a city. So if you want to live in a city and not out in the forest, like I'm living out in the forest. If you're living in a city, go with burglar because it's gonna give you bonuses to lightfoot, nimble, and sneaky. So all three things that you need when you're in a city. And it allows you to hotwire cars. Um, if you're gonna live out in the woods, I suggest going lumberjack. I would, if this is your first playthrough, it, it I would set it for zombies don't respawn, right? And then I would do um, I would also do that you don't get infections through bites or anything like that. It's not going to stop them from scratching and, and killing you, but it means that one lucky shot won't kill you. So I would get rid of all the transmission stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's The game is plenty tough without, you know, again, how many times have we died just to literally... Oh, we got hit once. And now we're dead because we were bitten or we were scratched and it became, we got the zombie virus. So just delete that. You know what I mean? Bleeding's not a problem. Bleeding, just throw a bandage on it. But get rid of the infections. And I would spot yourself an extra 10 to 20 skill points. It's not going to make you OP. Yeah, so basically you just, you're, what you're going to do is like we've been doing. So we get scratched and it bleeds. You put a bandage on it. When the bandage gets dirty, remove the bandage, put another one. Yeah, 10 to 20 extra skill points. Because that's going to get you a, a better... Like, Lumberjack costs, like, I think it's 8 skill points. And Burglar, I think, costs 10. 8 to 10 or something like that. So it basically covers your profession. So, yeah, you can do that in vanilla. So when you're going into your settings, you can just... There will be an option for setting up extra skill points. So I, I suggest giving yourself a little extra skill points. Just to make it a little bit easier. Um, and if you're going to be outside the whole time, outdoorsman. You want outdoorsman. Uh, you can make yourself pretty strong. Um, but you won't make yourself, even with the extra 5 to 10, or 10 to 20 points, it really doesn't make or break. It just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, it doesn't make it a lot easier, but it makes it a little bit easier um, to for the game. You know what I mean? So there's no. Oh, I guess we're. Yeah. Okay. I am. I, I am. I'm guilty as charged. I thought about doing guides. The problem is... <clears throat> the problem with me doing guides is... I already stream for eight and a half hours a day. Right? By the time I get done streaming, I usually... Go home, or usually go home. I'm already home. Um, I usually start breaking down the videos and start getting them uploaded to YouTube whilst trying to get something to eat. <clears throat> we do, we do a little bit. So, like when we started this, I did a little tutorial on um, setting up the characters and stuff like that, but. Yeah, maybe if, if one day if I get a if I get somebody who does who takes over my YouTube content and stuff like that and does all that stuff, um, we can look to do those type of things. Um, but yeah, as of right now, we just don't have um, 
just don't have the time. Maybe. Maybe. Right, yeah, I really like where we're at right now. Uh, there's some things that I, you know, obviously there's, there's things that I'd like. Right. And there's things that I'd like to, to get better about the streams, and there's things that I'm still learning and growing. Still need to move over to OBS. Uh, I'm going to be fiddling with that a lot here uh, in the not too distant future. I just haven't had time to, to really sink my teeth into it. <laughs> and Twitch studio, studio seems to be holding its own. So. Uh, so there's definitely some growth I want to do in my streams, but for the main overall theme and the main of what we're doing I, I really like what we're doing uh, and you know um, seems that most people like it too so um, oh come on with this fog cheers Arla But yeah, we got things in, uh, yeah, we got fog in. Oh yeah. That's okay, because we got to go read our book anyway, so. Although we don't have foraging level three, which sucks. I don't know what happened to foraging level three. means that uh, we're going to have a, a little bit harder of a time to uh, five and six are going to take a little bit so pros and cons in, in both right so for houses versus uh, okay so we'll start <laughs> with bases what, should you do a house or should you do uh Build just something like I did in the woods. It, it, it's six to one, half dozen to the other, right? It's build it out in the woods like I did means we're going to have a lot less zombies. Or it practically no zombies, right? But it does mean I'm further away from all the loot, right? And Project Zomboy doesn't recognize this as a house. So, like, if you're at a house... You could right click and make it a safe house. I can't do that here. So, player belt houses have that negative, right? And normal houses have lighting that even when the power goes off, still has lights. It's built into the game. Whereas a player house will never have those lights. Um, so, it, it depends. If, if you want to play, like I said, and that's going to, the, what you choose there is going to depend, again, on what your build is, right? If you're going to play in a city and do a city run, then pick Burglar and then just occupy a house. And you can take any house, like, on the edge of a map or something like that and reinforce it and build onto it. So grabbing a house in town doesn't mean you can't continue to build, right? It just means you have a starting point that's already done. <laughs> Going out in the woods just means you got a bigger canvas to build a house. So it's up to you. If you want to be closer to loot, just grab a house. And we grabbed a house at the beginning. So I always suggest grabbing a house or a point at the beginning as your staging area. And then you can kind of go from there and figure out, you know, do I go in the woods? Do I want to do this? Do I want to do that? So, um, so there's that. <laughs> For foods, canned foods, any canned food is really good because it doesn't go, doesn't expire. Um, at the very beginning of the game when you have power and water save all your canned food and just eat out of the um, out of the fridges <laughs> you know grab the steaks from the freezer right but when the power's still on in the game all that stuff that's in the fridges and stuff like that it's good to eat so save all your non-perishables until the electricity goes out and I would suggest Going to uh, loot um, 
take your loot from rare, which is its default setting, to common. So that'll give you a little bit more food, a little bit more of everything, make things a little bit easier. Again, it's still random what you get, but you'll find that you'll get more things. So it's a little bit easier to survive, right? <laughs> so that's the big thing. Until the, the power gets shut off, make sure you're eating out of fridges, you know, at, on the different places that you're, you're going to. Don't, uh, don't eat your perishables because once again, once, once time goes on, you're, you're going to need those perish, uh, non-perishables. So, um, okay. So for weapons, <laughs> weapons are going to be a personal preference. If you notice, I don't use any guns, guns. I mean, I have silencers, um, I haven't attached them yet. So you could use that. You could use silencers and guns. And we might give that a whirl. Um, oh yeah. We have we have a bunch of guns. Actually. Um, oh yeah. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to look in the house that you start with. And uh, there should be like a kitchen knife or... Something like that. Um, so kitchen knives, of course, that's short bladed. Um, <clears throat> building yourself a spear is a really good idea, which you only need, uh, I think it's just a plank. You can, uh, but what you're going to want to do is basically push them down and then stomp on their heads. So you can't, like, punch them to death. I think you can. <laughs> but, uh, no, you can't, because I don't think there's any, like, punching I think it's just shoving um, but yeah I would I would definitely get a weapon as quickly as possible and spears are easy because you can easily make them um, and they have range so And that's that's what I would suggest for weapons but either way you look at it find a weapon that you like and then stay with it because the higher you get your skills up in that the better off you're gonna be so like we're sticking with machete even though technically <clears throat> I have a bonus to swing with axes so I swing faster with axes the problem is <clears throat> we only have a hand our axe isn't as good as I want it to be because it doesn't multiple hit. Although I could just be because I was, wasn't waiting too long and I don't want to use my fireman axe to, to do it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. You can craft a stone axe. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I know hydrocraft. Wow, our upload is going haywire right now. Um, so hopefully it's not too bad on your guys' end. We're not getting too many glitches. Um, but with uh, Hydrocraft, you can uh, craft full-fledged everything. So you handle the electricity by getting generators and uh, hooking up generators to your base and then filling those up with gas. Uh, Water is, uh, you want the rain collector? What? The generator? No, generator is normal. Generator is a normal part of uh, the game. And same thing with rain collectors. Or are you talking about, which one are you talking about? Hydrocraft is a mod, yeah. It's a, it's a big mod. Wow, we are getting full fog. Jeez. Yeah, Hydrocraft is a full mod. Although, pro, uh, Build 42 will incorporate a lot of things that Hydrocraft added to the game. A lot of it. Um, not all of it, but a lot of it. Like all the animals, uh, pro, uh, Build 42 is bringing in animals. Full-fledged animals. That should be walking and you be, should be able to, like, we will be able to see them. And kill them. So... Man, 
man, why are we we're just not finding anything? Yeah, that that darkness. You should be fine. Just remember, take it easy and crouch. The biggest mistake people do is they see a whole horde of zombies and like, oh, I'm gonna go charge them. You don't need to charge them. You can walk faster than they can walk, right? So if there's a big horde of zombies, um, my the default button is Q on PC. Just walk in an area yelling so you're gonna get their attention. And then once you get to a point where you're like, okay, they're past where I want them to be, what you do is you run past and you crouch and you kind of go like find some woods and you lose them in woods and then circle back. You don't need to fight every zombie that's out there. In fact, most of the time, the smartest thing you can do is just leave them alone. Um, and, you know, from what I've always seen is most people are like, I'm going to charge them and fight them. And it's like, well, that's fine. There's not... There's nothing wrong with that. It's just you leave yourself open to be attacked. And I get rid of this darn fog. Like, this fog is killing. We would already probably be well into this foraging if we could just get rid of this darn fog. Um, all right. Well, we can't do anything in this. We can't do foraging in the fog. We're, we're losing about 66% efficiency. 